Stamper Hero plays High Pixel Sky Wars Episode 7. Playing normal solo. Alright. This is a familiar looking map. I haven't done Sky Wars in a while. I should have armor, which should protect me against most of the players. Not that one. They really just aimed a bow at me. Really? Well, you know how Sky Wars works. Violence at every corner. Oh, this is a new map. I haven't seen this before. Get that one chest, get the two chests in the bottom. Iron pick and iron axe. Those are the goals. Really? Of course, the first two rounds aren't going to be perfect. That's impossible, especially when I haven't played in so long. So here's the thing about Hypixel Sky Wars. Sometimes it just adds features. Like for some reason the sky's really dark and people are collecting each other's heads. This is just one of the many tactics built into the game to encourage people to fight each other instead of resolving things peacefully. Each time the lightning strikes, that's proof that somebody fell for it. Which is... I guess there was no ground there. Well, that was a cool map. Alright, if I aim this jump, it should be possible to get onto the top of that tree. Ready? Now. Alright, this is gonna be... Fortunate for me. Really? Yep, there we go. Now you're shooting at me again. Looks like we came to a compromise. In this world of Hypixel Sky Wars, where everyone believes the lie that you're supposed to fight to win, something that always fascinates me is the different mindsets that people seem to have. Like, shooting people off of buildings. Okay, there we go. This map has a bunch of red sand. I've seen this map before. Yeah. We're both heading our separate ways. Really? Why can't I even get hits in? Oh, my FOV is down. Alright, so here are paint buckets. It's the paint bucket map. Why did you... Th you, you didn't have a weapon. Well, but that wouldn't have changed much. Yeah, you deserve that. I'm gonna wait until the next refill, because I might get a better axe. Yeah, no. Well, there goes the emeralds in the beacon, but that's fine, they don't help much for Skywars. This next map, there's glass. I don't have silk touch, so that glass will have to be broken. Iron pickaxe, and water bucket. If I get one more water bucket, I'll have a generator. So what is this glass supposed to be? I'm not sure what the map is, but it looks interesting. There's red terracotta, and there's red glass on top of trees. Maybe it's supposed to be apples. Huh. 
and I'm being attacked. Ah, they're going a different direction. Maybe they're not a hostile player. Nope, they are. Alright. Really? Yeah, don't try it. Back to what I was doing. And now I'm being attacked. Great. The last player remaining is hostile, so there's no way to win, because if I killed them, the round would be over. I think that's the biggest flaw of Skywars. It's the kind of game where nobody wins, as long as one player is toxic and they get to the end. In a way, it's a metaphor for society, and I do understand the thought behind it, but I just don't think it works well enough. Even if the world and people's actions are flawed, that doesn't mean the game should be as well. It should be fun and possible for multiple people to win. In the circumstances where not everyone can win, and only one person can, it shouldn't be an instant game over. Otherwise, you are telling people that there's no other way to win than to fight, and that all you're fighting for is victory, and that all victory is is killing everyone else. So I really think they need to put a bit more thought into how that's handled. Because I understand the true reason for Skywars, but that's fine. I wonder when people will realize that peace is the best option. I don't think it's going to happen soon, but that just shows you how blind a whole lot of the world can be. If so many people are playing this game all the time, and yet so few of them realize the truth about what its messages are saying. Great. My tools are never perfect, but they don't need to be perfect. I have an axe, and that's far more helpful than a pick. Yeah, here's how well that's gonna work. How- How do you deal that much knockback? And the chest isn't opening. And the Are you helpful or not? Nope. Well, I went around. Now this map has a really cool design. And I just got enough water for an infinite generator. Water generator. Wheat. Sapling. So far, this is going very well. I just need a cobblestone generator. Then there's flattening out this map, but I don't know if that's possible. Considering the size of it. It looks like Techno Duck YT is a non-violent player, which is nice. And never mind. 
guess that was a lie. Well, I didn't focus on getting powerful items, so it's going to be a challenge to beat you. This is why you don't grief people's bases. You'll never win. I think that was a successful round. That time I won and completed most of my goals. Let's do one last game just for fun. I've got a lava bucket, no sign of a water bucket yet. More worrying though is the grass. It's all on the mainland. But one seed is enough. And now I'm not sure what they're doing. It's good though. It seems like this other player is non vile So this episode of Hypixel Sky Wars wasn't bad. I won two rounds, and I pretty much won one of those the legit way. There weren't really any non-violent players that I met. But that was fine, because a lot of them had patience, and that's a valuable skill. It's good to know other people who play Skywars can be patient. I also got this achievement. Gives me 200 achievement points. 18,000 arcade coins. That's pretty cool. Once I unrust at PvP, I'll get to be the real Semper Hero again. And I'll basically be even better than I am now. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.